What's up guys? It's so good to see you. It's Pallavi, your host and you are watching Absolute Biopharma where you will find everything you want to know about biopharma industry, jobs, interviews, training, technical content and the list goes on and on and on. And if you are new to this channel, you just happen to click on this video randomly or maybe YouTube suggested this to you. You might want to consider subscribing because I bring to you the most relevant content related to the biopharma world. So be a part of this journey and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. So every time I produce some new content that's going to boost your career, you won't miss it. So today I am going to share with you the clean room classification that will really help you to know about the clean room classification that we follow in our industry. So let's get started. First is what is a clean room? In industry, clean rooms are used in the manufacturing medicine. In biotechnology and medicine, clean rooms are used when it is necessary to ensure an environment free of bacteria, viruses or other pathogens. In addition, the temperature and humidity may be controlled in clean room. Now comes ISO 14641. So according to the ISO guidelines, it is a room in which the concentration of airborne particle is controlled and which is constructed and used in a manner to minimize the introduction, generation and retention of particles inside the room and in which other relevant parameters like temperature, humidity and pressure are controlled as necessary. Now let us see clean room specifications. For particulate matter like dust are defined according to maximum allowable particle diameter and also according to the maximum allowable numbers of particles per unit volume. For non-particulate contaminants like microorganisms, the maximum allowable density in terms of microbes per cubic meter or molecules per cubic meter is specified. So in clean rooms, we can have particulate matters that can be filtered out and non-particulate contaminants that can be filtered out. So both have different measuring units that is for particulate matters, it is particle per unit volume and for non-particulate contaminants like microbes, it has microbes per cubic meter. So let us see four fundamental rules that apply to the clean room. First is contaminants must not be introduced into controlled environment from outside second the apparatus within the controlled environment must not generate or otherwise give rise to contaminants like result of friction chemical reactions or biological process third contaminants must not be allowed to accumulate in the controlled environment then lastly the existing contaminants must be eliminated to the greatest extent possible and as rapidly as possible. So here are the clean room standards. The classes are from ISO 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So here is the maximum particles per cubic meter. So you can see here the contaminants that are greater than 0.1 micrometer, greater than 0.2 micrometer, 0.3 micrometer, 0.5 micrometer, 1 micrometer and 5 micrometer. So here are some of the pictures of the clean rooms as you can see in this picture. So a person or an individual here is wearing a gowning with gloves. Then this is the clean room corridor from where entry and exit is there. Here in third picture also the group of individuals are here. They are performing some sterile activity under the clean room. So clean room requirements in various industries like in which industries the clean rooms are there. They are in the field of medicine, then food and beverages, electronic industry. In electronic industry, they are clean rooms are used to manufacture semiconductors, then paint and surface coating industries, horticulture, then biotechnology and agro product. That's all for this video. If you like the video, then do hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel so whenever I will upload a new video you will get the notification. Thank you and have a great day.